We've only got half an hour until the vegan restaurant stops serving. And I don't know where the fuck we are. We're literally hanging now, my knee hurts. Fucking pelvis is bruised. And uh, really hoping to get a meal. I'll keep you posted. Okay, there's no way we're gonna make it to the restaurant before the kitchen closes. So I managed to ring them up and order some food. They're a bit of an issue because we don't eat any allium. Everything in the kitchen has onion or garlic in it, standard. But luckily the woman said she can make us a cheeseless pizza with pesto as the sauce and vegetables. So, my sweet, we're walking up these hills now because we're bruised. So we made it to the pizza shop. So, hey, shit of bread. Better than a kick in the bollocks though. Had some food. Gina's had some chips. Pizza. We're probably gonna take it with us. Come on, Joe. Explain to the camera what we're doing. Right, dickhead. Forgot his headlamp. Both dickheads have got headlamps, so we've got the iPhone for light. Trying to set up camp under this here tree in the middle of a golf course. <laughs> so we figure by the time they wake up, wake us up, kick us off, we'll be happy to leave anyway. Alright, this putting off our tent stuff is getting hard, so we're gonna turn it off and we'll put it back on when we're making tea. Well, let me yeah. you. We made it. My tent's out there, you can't see it, it's too dark. I didn't bring any headlamp, just got my phone light stuck on top of Gino's tent. Uh, we smashed it. I can't believe it to bring a headlamp, it's so dumb. It's like the main number one thing you need. Other than a push bike. But yeah, we're gonna make a cup of tea. And I don't think there's much point in us talking to you too much because you probably can't see anything anyway. So we'll say goodnight. And we'll see you tomorrow. Getting older, mate. What's that, Jay? Because everything hurts. Do you sleep alright? Yeah, well, it's alright as you can sleep on the hard floor. That's all right, to be fair. What right, YouTube? Um, we're packing up. Need a shit. I'm trying to work out if I'm gonna have to do a nature poo by this tree and use the pizza box to wipe my ass or the pizza slices, <laughs> or if we should just go to the toilet down there. Yeah, we need breakfast, a delicious some fruit bowl or something that is not bready or crispy. Because it feel like shit. Well, I'm glad that I opted to use the toilet because the, uh, the sourdough piece of poo was um, rather stodgy. It would have been a bit of a fucking nightmare trying to curl that out under a tree. It was so thick. What is it? it smelled like pesto. <laughs> Still, we're on the quest for David Icke. Still no luck with him. This is day two and we're hoping to find the lizard man. We know you're here. And search for the lizard man himself. We know you're here somewhere. You come out and talk about the flat earth. How are you feeling? My knee hurts really bad. We're, we're 10 minutes in and we're already in pain. No, oh, mate, I woke up in pain. They're lovely, aren't they? They're like posh fucking beach Yeah. Coastal Park or down the road? Let's have a quick look. I think we wanted the vegan restaurant that cut out all this coastal park. Yeah, okay. I mean, to be honest, mate, I mean, you can cut straight down the road and go straight to it, or you can go around the coast. But then we've got the whole other side of the island to do coast on as well. So what are you saying? Just go to the we'll go, go down the road and see. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Hello. So we've uh, 
giving up cycling up big hills. Pelvis is too sore, knees hurting. So we're just gonna push them. We took a little detour, we come off the main road. A little bit longer route, but a bit more scenic. It's only 20 past 11, so we've not, we've not really got any rush to get to this vegan place. So I think at the end of this, hopefully by the top of this hill, we can coast down to the seafront and then straight to the vegan place. Stickerslangers.com The best stickers in town. He is not bothered by you. Oh, not bothered. <laughs> Won the game of chicken. Yeah. You know, doing his bit for the community. It's a steep fucking hill, and it doesn't look like they make very good brakes on wheelchairs. I was gonna help, honest, but uh, too many cooks spoil the broth. I look after the bikes. Yeah, but yeah, you use tender, I just can't get them. just goes and grabs them. Bad as shit, rubbed it in your hair, then washed it out. Yeah, I actually was looking at my video, just doing, and it pissed all over my hair. I was like, oh fuck. You're in therapy. I don't want Joe to fucking find out. <laughs> I'll wash it off. off. <laughs> at the R Mansion, yeah, they're big pimping over at the Isle of Wight. Right. Probably work for David Ike. <laughs> We're coming for you, David. See that there? The Isle of Wight. So is that there? Apparently that's actually really cocaine. That's why it's very expensive, okay? Yeah, one time. Front zone. Go on Joe's only fans if you want to buy this dirty top. <laughs> Do with some fucking fans right now. It was absolutely sweating. Battery powered fans. Only battery powered fans. <laughs> that's what we need. <laughs> what are you saying? I keep going. Sorry, sorry. You can't tell us what to do. Some really fucking anxious, quivery old man got super angry that we had push bikes and then claimed that there was a landslide and I wouldn't be able to get the bikes through anyway. And he was so stressy and humpy that we figured we'd better not stress the old cunt anymore. So we're gonna go back to the sign that told us no cycling and go left. We found ourselves down stinging that alley. Oh, legs. Don't become a grumpy old man. If you get to that age and you care about things, you did something wrong. So some other guy just give us directions. He said if we come across this field, then we get to the road and he seemed all right. And he also said that there was landslides and that we would have ended up stuck and that there was a sign saying we shouldn't be cycling anyway. So, <laughs> what must is. But 
I don't know. Walk with dinosaurs here now. It's gonna be hard work, isn't it? Which way are you it's go? a blag, I'd say. Uh, uh, should we just go up the arrow way? That way. We learned from the previous it's lesson. Oh yeah? Yeah. But why does it say no? It doesn't say no, does it? It doesn't say no. Oh, is that? Oh, no. no good. So it does say no. Been like the whole journey is these weird moaning sounds. Oh. Joe's getting old before his age and he loves buildings now. He loves buildings and, and cafes. <laughs> Look at these quaint houses. Oh. Which way, which way, which way? This way. Slow gradient. <laughs> Biscuits and uh, we've got some shoulder protection. We're going to try and get back to Yarmouth. This is the home stretch, it's quite a long stretch. But we're hoping to make it before the ferry stops going. Look at that nice willow tree. We've got to get to Yarmouth so we can get back home. So we've got this whole side of the island we've done up there, around to here. We've done the majority of the island. We've got a nice straight run and then we're going to get a train from Limington back home because we've seen that coast and our bum's hurt. We started a rain and we're on a private road. There's a nice building. Against the advice of some man, we decided to stomp up this fucking hill. He said we had to go back on ourselves to the road but I don't like going back on myself so much, unless old men go mad about the cycles. So we're, uh, we're hoping this leads to somewhere other than just a cliff top. But if it doesn't, at least we get the cycle back down it, because it's steep. Yeah, we found the cliff top. But there's a car park there, so we think we're gonna get down. There's that lovely place. It's nice up here. Shout! Shout! Tell it all out! Yeah, it turns out the bloke was right. We, uh... Whoa, that's not a scratch across that. Went to the cliff and ended up back at the Nick Nickton sign where we had our, uh, our tea break about half an hour ago. <laughs> So now we're going this way. That's a fucking serious downhill. And a really nice fucking coastal view, but the next time we do one of these, I get an action cam. It's really hard work putting this thing out of my pocket and then trying to film stuff while we're going silly speeds. Lagging now. Lagging. Legs are sore. Back is sore. And the road is long. <laughs> Only another six hours to go, Bush. <laughs> uh, so we, we got to Brook. We 
took the uh, the turning off at Brook in hopes that there might be a shop for some water because we ran out of water. And uh, fucking out, I fucked. Really, really fucked. I'll have a look now. Maybe to try and get back before the ferry stops going. So, Joe's starting to lose all the limb. Oh, Can you cope anymore? Oh, pretty. Find out. Get the new energy. <laughs> After the short break, my back hurts. Oh, mate, it's been a long ass day. My crushed spine is not enjoying carrying the bag. Doesn't have any fucking chops. It mustered up the carriage to get back on the bikes. We go. Hopefully, get to the next town soon. So, we made it to Freshwater Tesco's, which is great because we're fucking out of water. Hanging, it's not that far to Yarmouth now. So, we're just gonna. We get the water. Oh no. Oh, you did? Ice oh no, fuck it. <laughs> Bollocks. We did buy ice as well, but we're only going back to the fucking ferry anyway, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Water, coconut, water. What happened? Fucked, mate. Yeah. What are you feeling? I feel white. Yeah, guys. Okay, I feel white. I just cycled back to the corner. Did you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't think that would do me. I could not be fucked with that. Well, if we've got it, if there's no train, I will, but. I'd rather there be a train. Yeah. <laughs> Coming into Yarmouth, nearly at the ferry. We've done a whole lap of the Isle of Wight. Cool looking, mate. There's the bridge road, apparently. <clears throat> Makes sense. Got it, mate. Got it. We fucking made it, mate. Livingston. Oh. Ferry, is that the entrance there or? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Is that not the exit? Is that not the exit where we came out? All foot passengers enter through ticket office. Hello. <coughs> hey, uh, what time is the next ferry? 10 to 9. 10 to 9. Okay, then what are we doing with the bikes? We just sat outside with them and wait for the ferry yes. to come. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Ten to On nine. the ferry. Then we're gonna go on the train. Joe's really, really tired now. He's uh, knackered. <laughs> He's not amused. We're gonna get the train home and uh, hopefully then. I've had enough of you lot. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully we'll be home within the hour. His little back's hurting. His little legs are hurting. His, li his, li his little bum hole is all sore. <laughs> um, yeah. I think uh, the next protocol is getting onto the train and then uh, we'll be home for some uh, cup of tea. I was just going to let you know how unexcited I am about having the nest of my bristed, bruised bum crack on that fucking bike seat again. Cycling, well, a little bit soaked and after we get to Bournemouth. Some really angry lady told us off for using our phone. My phone. It's our phone because Gina was looking at it too. We was watching Lily Lou on, on his, his fourth day of um, running through Ireland. Good entertainment. She's down there. She's really angry. Like the man and the Isle of Wight. They'll probably really get on. They'll probably actually fucking hate each other. He called the police on her and she's telling him to stop getting on, up, stop using his phone. Yeah, all in all, a good adventure. Good adventure? Yeah, it's great. This is about to stop all the We're going, bye. So, uh, it's got off the train at Brockenhurst. And uh, initially, we had an hour wait for the train to Bournemouth, 
but because of severe weather warnings, because it was slightly sunny today, it's a 40 minute delay. An hour and 40. An hour and 40? What? What? Oh yeah, yeah, so it's an hour and then it's a 40 minute delay, yeah. So we've got to wait an hour and 40 minutes and it's now quarter past 10, so we're considering cycling back, but I looked at the map thinking that Brockenhurst was on the way to Bournemouth from Limington and it's not, it's up. So we're fucked. We've got longer to cycle than what we would have had if we cycled from Limington. Oh. Alright, you little bell ends. So we are fucking... <laughs> Gonna cycle from here to fucking Bournemouth. Let me show you on the map. Where? Absolutely chuffed. It had to do this, didn't it, really? It had to do this. Just to take the piss. Yeah, so there's. Oh my god. So there's Livingston. There's Bournemouth. Down there. And we've gone up. No, it smells like absolute shit, though, doesn't it? Let's feel your breath. <laughs> right, we're gonna cycle. Fuck it, bastard cunt. Okay, so you ain't gonna be able to see shit, because we can't see shit. We're riding through the new forest with no lights on our bikes. Dressed in black. <laughs> Dressed in black. Fuck it. This is mad. Laughing light. Yeah. Adventure. The richest house is home. It's fucking blowing a girl. I'm gonna have to go, but I just thought I'd get this bit in, so that's part of the journey. Enjoy the black screen. Yeah, enjoy the listen. Um, we just got back to the flat. We're alive. Fucked. Michelle's made us some food, some healthy food that's got no bread, no drink in it. Uh, that was probably one of the fucking most dangerous quite scary things we've ever done. We ended up going through the new forest, which is no lights, thick canopy of trees, and it's a national speed limit road. And we're both wearing black, and we don't have any lights on the bike. So we couldn't even see each other. You can see a vague, vague outline of the white line in the middle of the road. So we had to just keep sticking to that, and then when one end of the road glowed up, we had to get to the side and wait for the cars to pass and hope they didn't fucking kill us. We got a little bit cocky at one point and with the oncoming cars, didn't stop every time. So we just put our heads down and thought they're on the other side of the road anyway. So we'll just stick tight to the inside white line and keep moving. And then one of them, there was two, one time there was two cars coming and I think the first guy saw us and slowed down we thought, okay, of course, you can't look at them, you're just doing this. And the guy behind just fucking floored it and literally, like, we felt that we nearly died. The fucking guy literally nearly killed us. Uh, absolutely shit us up. So then that, we had to stop. In the end, took that as a sign. And it's completely our fault. You shouldn't be on a national speed limit road in the dark with no lights on, in black clothes. It's fucking retarded. We didn't mean to. It was, uh, we wanted to get a train train that there's a slightly warm day in the UK and the train tracks are too hot for the trains to run on time. It was a good holiday, we didn't die. How are you feeling? I'm good. I've got another little slug away. Oh. Yeah. My face is red and I'm going to be burnt. I'm like a lobster. I'm going to be into get, Essex. No, a red lentil um, spaghetti. <laughs> anyway, that's we're done. The bath's running. The healthy food is going in even though it's Far too late to be eating. Um, I made such a stink, kick up a stink, Michelle made me some lovely food, so I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> See you on the next one. Do you think different to me? You don't recognise truth. <laughs> <laughs> you should be eliminated. Yeah.